So this week's challenge or this week's theme actually was Oz and every one of us had to take a character from the Oz theme or movie, not really a movie. So I decided to take um, obviously the Scarecrow which turned out more creepy than expected but that's it, it's Halloween so why not. Um, I know that the Scarecrow is supposed to be very yeah, very friendly and very naive, kind of naive, because um, it has no brain <laughs> or no mind, whatever. So this is my version of the scarecrow, my creepy version of the scarecrow. I work with tons of liquid latex. I can hardly speak, as you can see. That's why I'm looking a little bit weird. And yeah, if you just want to see how I got this look done and how you could maybe turn into a scarecrow like this, stay tuned and. One more thing to say, please, please, please subscribe our channel, make us happy and leave us feedback in the comment section below. Get us thumbs up if you like our videos. Watch Aaron's video, watch Mo's video and of course Nicole's video. They did awesome, very, very awesome looks. Nicole did the Tin Man, Mo uh, did the monkey from the new movie um, and Aaron did kind of a hybrid of the porcelain doll and um, a flower by the new movie um, yeah that's all I have to say for now stay tuned so basically I started with a glue stick and covered my eyebrows I tried to give it another try and it was great if you want to have something which uh, would last longer just take spirit gum and next I took um, a white eyeliner pen by Essence and just marked my guidelines for my eyes. I always take a white eyeliner pen, you can cover it very well, it's easy. So here we are with liquid latex and a sponge and some fabric which has the texture of um, a potato sack. Of course you need some scissors and just cut it into random pieces, random sized pieces. And then you take your latex and just cover the area between the eyes and around the face with the latex and try to stay out of your hairline to just avoid gluing your hair in, into the latex which is very hard to get off so just avoid it and try to stay out and I did two thicker layers of latex to just have a good base to stick on the fabric and to get it off way easier at the end can be a pain in the ass to get it off so just do it okay and uh, I took a blow dryer at the end to just dry it away faster than normal just take the cold setting and here we are with the fabric I just applied it randomly and first I tried to build a collar which will not last but it has to so I dipped it into the latex again and just applied it on the neck at first and then I went all over the edges with the sponge the same sponge as before and I just built it up all over the neck up to my chin and all over the face at the end. I would try to not to cover all the fabric with latex just to keep the, the structure of the fabric and yeah just to keep this fabric looking base to work with at the end so do not cover all the gaps with the latex and make sure you take clear drying latex because um, uh, another color would just cover the color of the fabric, right? So this latex dries clear and the color of the fabric stays visible at the end. And yeah, we are up to the forehead and almost done with gluing the fabric on. And the next step we have the paint job. Yep. The eyes at first, which are painted with black makeup, black watercolor makeup by 
oil spiel and um, a, a random acrylic brush. It's easy to take off at the end, so just take the watercolor or maybe a grease paint or grease paint would work either. So try take whatever you want. It just depends on your taste. So I I just took the watercolor because it's easier to get off. And yeah, here I took a blending brush and a little bit of black eyeshadow by Kaiko to just avoid my eyelid from creasing and to anti-shine the watercolor makeup. And next we have the rest of the face, <laughs> the remaining area. So I take Grimace grease paints and four different, uh, three different colors, I'm sorry, and this is the black cream which is number 101 if I'm right. I'm gonna mention them in the info box below. And I first painted um, kind of a mouth or shape of a mouth to get this face done. And I also took an acrylic brush for that. And then I mixed up the green, well, yeah, the green and the pink to get a brownish muddy, muddy tone. And um, I took um, a sponge again and just went all over to just get this kind of used or weathered looking looking base so th this scarecrow doesn't look new it looks kind of used <laughs> yeah that's basically it just go all over the fabric and some yellow and green watercolor at the end to just get more of a weathered looking fabric base, whatever you like to call it. And that's basically it. Not the biggest deal of a makeup if you ask me, so it's quite easy to recreate. All you need is some latex and fabric and that's already the final look for you. And I'm done. Yeah, quite easy. Nice Halloween look easy to recreate and that's it completely freestyle you can do it whatever you like it and get me a thumbs up bye bye see you soon